In the previous movie, I showed you how to create and export a simple motion track from Mocha. In this movie, I'll show you how to export shape data, a particular outline mat that you want to create that follows a certain object in your footage. I'm going to go ahead and open up a project created for me by the good guys over at Bandito Brothers. Select the Mocha project they gave me, and chances are if you get a project from somebody else, it will not be able to locate the footage. It may have a local path on their drive that has nothing to do with a relative path on your drive. That's okay. Go down to this brown folder icon, and that's how you relocate your clip. I'll click on that, go into Footage, Sources, go down to Mocha, select the first in my sequence, click OK, and Finish. And here is the clip. And they've gone ahead and created some complex outlines for objects like this tire, that metal scrap off to the right of the screen, and then the foreground on the left side of the screen. And this is a very complex shape that goes over ground, dirt, rocks, metal, this piece of metal here. So they had a lot of work to do when they created this mask. Now one of the new features in Mocha version 2 is per vertex feathering. That basically says for every vertex, every mask point you create, you can decide how wide the feather should be at that point. And there's a few ways of modifying that. You can select your vertex and choose which tool you want to use. You can use both, which moves the inner and outer points together, just the inner point, or just the so-called outside or edge point. With both, moving one vertex moves the pair together, so they keep the same distance in between them. If I wanted to change the feather, I pick inner or outer. I'll go ahead and pick the inner and say, let's just move that one to have a big feather there, or a small feather, maybe in that order, like that. If I want to move my outer edge point, I'll select that one instead, pull it out a little bit, and get the precise amount of feather that I want. I can also edit feather numerically. Let's say I want to have a bigger inner feather. I'll create a larger value there, click Set, and it'll move my points for me. Here I've done it all along the entire path. I can undo and pick just specific points and set just those points, and just they will be offset by my edge width set over here. So this is what is meant by per vertex feathering. You can keep a tight edge along this metal, much looser edge around this dirt, and custom feather your edges depending on your source material. Okay, now that I have these three shapes, the tire, the right shape, the left shape, I want to export mats for these into After Effects. If you have the full version of Mocha, it has a separate ability to render a mat for you. Mocha for After Effects does not have that ability, but it does have export shape data. This is data which is pasted into a special Mocha shape plugin in After Effects to create your mat. So I'll say export shape data, selected layer, let's go ahead and do all visible layers. And again, I'll copy to the clipboard. I'll switch over to After Effects, open up my Mocha starter, and here I've got this guy running again. Now, as with any pasting of keyframes in After Effects, it's important that you move the time indicator to the first frame that's supposed to get a new keyframe. If I left it down here, my tracking data is going to start here and just won't match up at all. So I'll come back here, select my layer, and do a simple paste. And now, press F3 to reveal my effect controls. I have a separate Mocha Shape plugin added to this layer for each shape back in the Mocha project. It's been named after the shapes or the layers that were in the Mocha project, and I can turn these individually on and off and change their opacity. For example, if I want just the left shape, I'll turn these other guys off, and here's that big broad shape I had. I can keep the per vertex feathering that I set up in Mocha, or turn it off for a hard-edged mask. I can see the shape cut out, I can create just a composite of a white shape on top of my footage, or give myself just a high con, a black and white mat based on those shapes. I'm going to go back to shape cutout so I can see my footage. Now once you have this, there's a number of things you can do. For example, say the director came along and looked at this tire, I'll put him in multiply mode, and said, you know, that tire is too dirty, tire's supposed to be black. And you try to explain to them that this is a dirty, dusty scene, and the tire's brown because it has dust on it, and the director says he doesn't care, tires are black. So, you select the tire, you apply something like Effect, 
color correction levels. Levels has a nice new histogram. We'll talk about that later. And you can go ahead and play around with, say, the black point of the tire, maybe the gamma, and make the director happy because now just the tire is darker. Another approach is you can fake depth of field blur. I'm going to put this back to where it was, turn on all my shapes, and duplicate my layer. Drag them behind, E for effects, get rid of those. So I have an unaltered copy of my footage behind and my shape version in front. And go ahead and say effect, blur and sharpen. And let's just go ahead and do a fast blur for now. And blur just the objects that have been defined with Mocha Shape to give myself a fake depth of field. Now you can go ahead and apply an effect directly like that before and after. When you're doing work like this, I personally have found it better to use Mocha Shape as a track mat rather than applying effects to the Mocha Shape layer. So I'm going to delete that from there. I'm going to duplicate my background one more time. And I'm going to apply Fast Blur just that duplicate. So I've got a blurred copy of everything. And I'm going to use my Mocha layer as an alpha mat for my blurred footage. And now I've got what I think is a better edge or at least more control between my mocha shape layers, what it's matting, and my full background layer. And I can color correct them individually, etc. Now I've got a fake depth of field blur. Again, the mocha shape plugin is something new in After Effects CS5. You could buy it standalone before, but now it's actually bundled with the program.